Venus or geostationary satellites were actually a fictional creation of the famous science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke, who was also a high-ranking Freemason. And about a decade later, they became a so-called reality that we all ended up paying for with our taxes and our higher bills for such things as cable and internet, things like that. So basically, a Freemason created a piece of fiction, and then all his compatriots convinced us all that it was tangible and a reality. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people working on tech that is supposed to be satellite related. I'm saying that satellite tech does not go into space. Where they say satellites are actually located is in itself a work of fiction, like the concepts of uh, warp speed and dark matter, multiple universes, or string theory, just to name a few, allowing us to send long distance messages without wires. Ground-based systems for telephones and radio were being used by people on both sides of the pond. We were able to transmit through the atmosphere and skip signals off of the firmament, whatever that is, to the other side of the earth using ham radios. There are many ham radio operators today and lots of clubs all over the world. Marconi sent a message across the Atlantic over what a hundred years ago and all technologies were well established and working fine using only ground-based operations today we still use ground-based systems to connect to each other via cable television phone lines the internet with fiber optic transatlantic cables and RF towers there's tens of thousands of huge RF towers used to broadcast all kinds of signals all over the world and they're still being built in today's satellite age. Your cell phone signal has a limited range depending on who your provider is and how many towers their system is linked to. Even if satellites were real, they are simply not needed to do what they say they're doing. We can do it better and cheaper from the ground. People that work in the satellite field are really working on tangible things. Things that really work and do what they say they're doing. But it is not what those techs and the rest of us are being led to believe, since space and everything up there is simply not as they're telling us it is. If there are devices up high in the sky helping with communications, then, uh, then NASA probably reconfigures them to work wherever they want them to work and maybe doing it with hot air balloons or uh, some kind of secret advanced technology, but they're definitely not putting anything up in so-called space. And yes, it is time to talk about satellites or the lack thereof satellites, if you look at it like that. Satellites are a complete fraud, nothing but a hoax, zero proof, of actual satellites in so-called space or outer space or inner space whatever you'd like to call it floating around the globe I challenge anyone to give me a real picture of a satellite going around a ball earth photo a video, anything. Provide me with some evidence and I'll take down this video. If you can give me one image or one video of a real satellite. Now when you look at these images on your screen, these are the images that come up when you type in real picture of a satellite. So let that sink in for a little bit. And you might be wondering, hmm, well, how do we do stuff? How do we have internet? Burr, 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 dee, burr, dee, burr, 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 dee, burr. How do we do anything? Satellites are my god. I worship them. They make my cell phone work. I can't play Pokemon Go without a satellite. Wrong. Dead wrong. All these fiber optic cables under the ocean 
are what keep you obsessed with your phone and playing your Pokemon. And let's go to some of those articles and videos right now. We have Facebook and Microsoft laying giant fiber optic cables underneath the ocean. Every time you visit a web page or send an email, data is being sent and received through an intricate cable system that stretches around the globe. Well, the globe part is a lie. Since the 1850s, we've been laying cables across oceans to become better connected. Okay? And what I'm going to show next is video of the fiber optic cables that power the internet. So here is video of the size of the cable and they break it down to the multiple layers that are in it um, as well as uh, they'll have the shark attack occasionally bite a cable. There is an animation to show the process of how the cables are laid. They go slightly underneath the surface just a little bit to kind of settle in to avoid some of those shark attacks and things like that. Also old school footage of the fiber optic cables being laid as well as some newer footage they will show a picture. But this is how we are connected all over the world.